guys, this is Dave from Orchids and Fembus and we're here at the Silver Mine Reserve. We're in search of two amazing orchids, the Deza gramnifolia or the grass Deza and the Deza ferengini which is the um, cluster Deza. Both Deezas are fairly common in this area um, and yeah they're really amazing. If you haven't yet subscribed to our videos please click the link in the bottom. We post um, videos of orchids in their natural habitat in South Africa, pre um, predominantly the Western Cape. Also click the like button if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of these types of videos. Don't forget to stay to the end to find out the identification of last week's What's That Flower. This is another really cool plant from the pea family. It's called a blue pea or a fountain bush. But what is really cool is its smell. It has a strong grape scent in the heat of the day. Um, and it's actually intoxicating. It's beautiful. This one obviously isn't in full bloom at the moment. But when it is, the scent fills the air. And here is another really cool Erica. Um, I just love how the flowers droop down on this one um, with their little tails at the end. Um, I think this one is Erica Pluconettii, um, which is also called the Coat Hanger Heath. And this is a Lobelia species for those of you who like your Lobelias. Another very interesting flower shape. And here we see some really cool Drosera species. Look how cool these leaves are with these little water droplets at the ends. And look how tall they are from the ground. All the dead leaves from the previous years. Okay, so this is a pretty new species of Erica for me. I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna try and see if I can identify it from the books. The leaves are a lot more green and there's lots of tiny little hairs on the on the stem. So this is the Deza ferrugini, the cluster Deza. Get a slightly different angle of the plant so you can see what the side of the flowers look like. Beautiful hood, it's like pointed at the end. Really interesting shape, both for an orchid and for a deezer. And that, my friends, in the distance there, that is our beautiful Cape Town. And if you look over here, there's our coastline. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at this cluster Deza. This is what I was expecting to find. What a beauty, guys. She's absolutely magnificent. Here. Yeah. Let's see what the leaf structure looks like on this one. See, very little, you can see any leaves that will look attached to the actual stem. Pretty interesting. Oops. See that structure? Oh guys, I'm excited. I'm so happy I got to see this one. 
This is the first time I've seen it like this. I've always come too late in the season or too early in the season. Well, enjoy this. I'll take a few more images for you guys. Just a view from the top so you can see why this is called the Cluster Diva. How the flowers cluster together. Some of the new buds at the top of the plant. Would you actually believe that there is a natural hybrid between the Deza ferrugini and the Deza gramnifolia? It looks very similar to this um, ferrugini, um, but the hood is a lot, um, a lot um, wider and a little bit more shaped like the Deza gramnifolia, and it's um, bright pink in color. So it's very rare in the wild. You don't often see it. Um, I think there's only been two sightings ever on Table Mountain um, of that um, that natural hybrid. I just find the Deza genus so diverse. I mean, who would have thought when you talk about Deezas that you'd be looking at a plant like this? And now we just see them everywhere. Yo, this is amazing. This has really been a treat. So we're at a T-junction. Should we go left? Or should we go right? Hmm. And we made it over the other side of the mountain. And look at this view, guys. I've honestly never been up here. So you're coming along on this journey with me for the first time as well. Look at that view. That is our house bay area. And isn't it magnificent, guys? Yo, this is such a stunning view. So this is basically Chapman Peak Drive, is it us? So if you've ever heard of Chapman Peak, this is the type of view you will see from that area. Yo, that bay is beautiful. And yeah, we have a bit of a closer view. You can hear the beautiful waves down below from Chapman Peak. So when you think orchids guys, you don't really think right by the beach, on the mountain, all of that stuff. You think forest, well, the land of orchids is diverse. They are all around us. We just have to look. What's that flower? So we have another flower from the iris family for you to identify. They are fairly common on Table Mountain and they flower around autumn each year as their common name suggests. Do you know what this flower is? Then comment down below and let us know. Also, even if you just know the genus, again comment below. Watch next week's video to find out the identification of this flower. And stay to the end if you want to find out the identification of last week's flower from the Darling Wildflowers episode. And here we have a Tritoniopsis, very similar to in colour. So sometimes when I'm searching for the Deza ferrugini, I get confused with this one, but you can see this is pretty different when you get up close to the plant. Here is another interesting flower. So at first it just looks like a uh, erica or something, but let's go up close and see what we can see. Look at those beautiful little blooms. Fascinating sight. This is one of the everlasting flowers. It's obviously dead, but look how beautiful they look even once they've gone over. Now that we have found the striking Deza ferrugini, we continue our journey further up into the mountain to see if we can find the Deza gramnifolia, or the grass Deza. Stay tuned to Orchids and Fanbos for part two of this video, which will come out later this week.
Remember last week's flower that we looked at in part two of Darling Wildflowers? Well, that was the beautiful Ixia monadelpha. I have seen this species in two locations, in Darling and on Rondebosch Common. 